Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're doing my anticip- no, not anticipated. Y'all don't care that much. Ambitious fall TBR. I am so excited for fall. I'm so excited for the spooky season and the vibes and all the Gilmore girl vibes. Also, it's like storming out right now and I feel like it's like the perfect weather to be filming this kind of video. So I'm just like, the vibes are up right now. These are the books I really want to read this fall. And at the end of this video, I'm going to put like my top fall book recommendations that I've already read and that I think are perfect like fall vibes. But for most of this video, we're just going to be doing my fall TBR. So let's get into it. Do y'all hear this one right now? It literally sounds like something's in my walls. I'm scared. So the first book on my TBR list is Divine Rivals. Now I know everyone has read this book. I am aware of that fact. I know so many people have read this book and I'm late to the train, okay? This book is a fantasy and I think one of the main reasons I haven't started this book yet is because I've heard terrible things about the second book and I think that's like making me not want to get into the first one. I don't know, when I hear like a first, second, third book are great, like I am in it to win it, I am ready to read that book. But when I hear the first one's amazing and the second one's not, I'm like, because, and if the first one ends on a cliffhanger and then I'm like stuck, like I have to read the second one, but it's gonna put me in a reading slump. Like I'm not even kidding. The amount of people I've heard as that book has put them in a reading slump. It's not worth it. I still wanna read it. Like I just heard so many good things about the first one. Oh my God. My mind is very conflicted right now, to be honest. I know we have some enemies to lovers in that book and that is one of my favorite tropes ever. Like enemies to lovers, give it to me. Give it to me. And it's on Kindle Unlimited, so it's free. The next book I want to read this month, oh not this month, next book I want to read this fall, it's not even a book, this is a series, and that is The Zodiac Academy. Do I know what this is about? Barely. I just saw Larry Reed's video about this. I didn't even watch the video because I was like, I might read that, but she's talked so highly of it. I think it's about twins who have to, who have like the most power and people aren't happy about that. But they are born, I don't know. I have no idea what this book is about, but I've heard so many good things about it. I was kind of up in the air about starting it, but then I saw Larry Reed's raving about it. And I was like, you know what? I trust my girl's judgment over there. We're gonna read it. I think it's a fantasy too. Our next book on my TBR is Listen for the Lie. I've heard so many good things about this book. I think it's fairly new because I only recently started hearing about it. So that would make sense, I guess. I don't know, but I'm assuming it's fairly new. It's a thriller or mystery. Do y'all consider that the same thing? No. It's definitely not, but I feel like it's a thriller mystery. All I know is that I've heard so many good things about it. I'm pretty sure it's about a girl who was found covered in her best friend's blood. Best friend's dead now. She doesn't remember the night. And then some true crime podcast like comes out and starts trying to find out what truly happened. Everyone thinks this girl's guilty. I just think that sounds so interesting. Why can I not talk right now? I just think that sounds so interesting. So I'm really excited to read that one. Next book I have is The God of the Woods. Is that what it's called? The God of the Woods. It's called The God of the Woods and I found this book through Hannah Elise. I've been watching her for years and she just started kind of getting into her reading journey I feel like recently or at least posting about it and she recommended this book and I was like when she was explaining it I was like wait that sounds like a perfect fall book. Like it sounds super eerie and creepy and that's what we look for in the fall. I believe it's about a girl who becomes obsessed with this murder that happened in her small town or a small town, I'm not really sure. I think the town wants to keep it a secret. Like, I feel like it's one of those. I feel like it's giving the Mindfuck series vibes. I feel like it's giving the Mindfuck series vibes because like, almost like a town cult if the whole town is trying to keep it a secret. That's giving the Mindfuck series. I rated that book, that whole series, five stars, which is a great fall recommendation. I should have added that to the list, but look up the Mindfuck series. So interesting, so intriguing, very quick read. Loved it so, so much. I feel like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this book right now, and I fuck with that because it's creepy small town cult vibes. The next book I have is Assistant to the Villain. I've heard a lot of good things about this book lately. I know, I think the girl starts to work for the villain and I'm assuming she falls for him, but I think there's another person like trying to take this villain down, which makes sense because they're the villain and usually the good guys trying to take down the villain. I don't know, I really don't know what a lot of these books are about. Some of them I know like what they're about and some of them I really don't know, but we're just kind of going by what I know off the top of my head. I also, I do know what Divine Rivals is about. I just realized I never really talked about what it's about, but it's confusing. I know she's a journalist and her arch nemesis works at the journalist place with her Rowan. Her brother is like caught up in the God's War and is like fighting and she starts writing letters to her brother, but they end up in the hands of Rowan. He starts writing the letters back, pretending to be her brother. And then somehow I think they end up at the front of the war. I really don't know. That's like the gist of it, I think. So I forgot to mention that for Divine Rivals. But yeah, Assistant to the Villain, I'm pretty sure she starts working for the villain. It just sounds like a 
good quick read i've heard so many positive things about this book so i'm excited to start that one another book that i have no idea anything about what it's about is quicksilver i just saw people like raving about this for like a week or two and then all of a sudden nothing like i haven't really heard anything else about it but i've just heard a lot of good things about this book don't even know what it's about let me like look at this up real quick you got the old trusty laptop that is about to break down any day now um serif i can never say the fantasy names like why can't we name our main character bob why can't we name our main girl lily what is this word Saris? s-a-e-r-i-s Saris fane i don't know we're just gonna go by their last name which is fane fane is a skilled thief with secret powers and has spent her life hiding from the undying queen but when she accidentally reopens a gateway between re re realms i can't talk right now i'm so sorry guys and is transported to a land of ice and snow she finds herself entangled in a deadly fae conflict she binds herself or something to kingfisher who is a fae warrior with doc doc i can't talk right now with dark secrets and fane must create alliances to zafat <laughs> why am i struggling and Fane must create alliances to survive and find her way home. Okay. I just heard a lot of good things about this book, so I'm really interested in reading it, figuring out what the vibe is, figuring out why people are raving about it. But yeah, sounds interesting enough. The next book we have is Throne of the Fallen. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea what this book's about, if I'm being so honest, guys. I just looked it up on Goodreads, and I still don't really understand what it's about. But I heard people raving about it, heard so many good things about it. I heard it from, like, a lot of my booktube girlies out there. I trust them, and it seems to get a lot of attraction. But I was just reading the Goodreads thing, and I was like, what? Definitely interested in reading that. I'm so sorry if I'm, like, doing a horrible job at this, but, like, this is my TBR. If it's not my TBR, for the most part, like, I don't know what they're about, like, completely, because I just haven't read them yet i'm just going based off like other people's opinions and what they say it's about like if Haley says it's good or sarah says it's good or lex or any of the book girlies that i follow say it's good i kind of just add it to my tbr not even knowing like completely what it's about there's that this one i actually have right here one dark window do i know what this one's about kind of i've heard so many good things about this book and i really am interested in getting into it i think it's a i don't know if it's a trilogy or if it's just a duology it seems like a very quick read like it looks like it's only less than 400 pages and like look how big the words are hello my kind of book so i'm really excited to get into this series this book i want to read is the ministry of time and this book sounds so interesting to me i actually almost got it at barnes the other day but like tell me why this small little book was like 35 dollars of expensive for a book like for that small i always just couldn't do it i'm sorry just couldn't do it but i do want to read this book really badly i think the concept of this book sounds so interesting we have like time travel and bringing people from like the past into the future and trying to teach them how to live in today's world i just think that sounds so interesting and i know there's more depth to it and i've heard so many amazing things about it so i'm really excited about this one another book i want to read is the kingdom of what is it Another book I want to read is A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. This is the second book in the Blood and Ash series. I read the first one like a few months ago and I fell in love with it. I don't know why I haven't continued the series. I one thing about me is I cannot finish a series. Like I will start a series and just like never finish it. Like, finally reading the second book in the natural series and I read it so long ago, the first one. So I don't know what that's about, but I'm really excited about this one. I know a lot of stuff's about to go down. I'm pretty sure there's four books in the series. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, get I'm thinking it's around four, maybe more. You see that rhyme? right there <laughs> sorry i'm i'm delusional a little. and the next book i have is an ember in the ashes i've also heard so many good things about this book and the whole series as a general as a general what why can i not talk right now what is going on with me another book uh, the next book okay we're gonna restart that because that was really bad another book i want to read is an ember in the ashes I, i've just heard people raving about this book and i heard the second one is really really good see that's the kind of motivation i need i need to know that the second one is really good compared to the first one i mean it doesn't have to be better than the first one but it has to be like around the same level that's why divine rivals has been booted back a little bit i'm really excited to start this series hopefully i get to it we'll see we'll see another book i want to read is a daughter of no worlds now i heard this book kind of gives Daenerys vibes from Game of Thrones, which I love her. So that was just, that's really what intrigued me into the beginning. Wait, what am I saying? That is really what got me to want to read this book. I don't know if the storyline does, but at least the main lead character female does. It's also on Kindle Unlimited, so that's another bonus. That's always a positive in this kind of thing. Oh my god, I am so excited. Where did I just put this book? Okay. Another book, most of these books I don't have yet, but I do have the next book on my TBR, which is The Woman by Kristen Hanna. I just finished buddy reading The Nightingale with my mom and sister, and I bawled my eyes out, and I love the representation of, like, women in history. Like, that is amazing, and I love that. And that was focused more on, like, World War II and, like, the Holocaust and all that kind of stuff. Whew. 
heavy very heavy book but like so amazing and i'm pretty sure this book is kind of the same thing it's about like a nurse student who goes to fight in the war or something or like helping the, out in the war i don't know i just love how she always gives like representation to the women who did stuff in history another book i want to read is the serpent of the wing and night I I don't know what it's called. Let me look this up. <laughs> I'm literally going off the top of my head for the most part here, so bear with me. The Serpent and the Wings of the Night. I've heard amazing- I feel like this whole video is just me saying I've heard amazing things about this book, but I really am excited to get into this one. It is a fantasy. I know there's like a human involved with like vampires and all kinds of interesting things going on there, so excited to get into that one. I'm really excited about this one. I just feel like it's gonna be like fill the perfect fantasy. Like I feel like it's the kind of book I want to be reading in this weather where it's like raining and spooky out not spooky but just like gloomy how it fits the vibes you know what i'm saying oh this next book is the next thing on my video I don't know what's wrong with me right now. The next book I really want to read is the Akatar series. Another book where everyone and their mom has probably already read this book and I haven't yet, so. I don't know what I, why I haven't read this book yet. Like, all my friends have read it and raved about it except for one. Only one person I know has been like, they did not like it and they've tried to read it so many times and it didn't work. But everyone else I know who's read it loves it, raves it, five stars, amazing. Very hell bent on trying to get me to read it. And I just, I it's gonna happen. And I think I might do a reading vlog on it, but it's finally gonna happen, y'all. I hope, like I said earlier, I can never finish a series. So like, hopefully it happens, but like I'm so bad at finishing series. Unless the book like comes out after I've already read it, then I go get it and read it. But like if, it, if all like five books are out already, for example, then I don't know why, I just, I can't do it. I also want to read The Queen of Shadows. This is another series that I never finished. I read Throne of Glass like last fall and I just hadn't picked it up. My excuse for not finishing the series though I feel like is very valid because I was in college. I was in my senior year of college and to read a thick fantasy book during college is just like too much brain power for me. Like I need quick easy reads type thing and this was just like taking too much brain power when I was also studying for exams and that kind of stuff. Thinking about possibly like rereading the first few books again and then continuing from there so I can like have a refreshed mind because I have no idea what I'm getting myself into with this book. Like I don't remember anything so that's great. I remember things from the first, second, and third book, but like Air of Fire, why don't I remember anything from that book? Another book I really want to read is Once Upon a Broken Heart. I've heard amazing things. There I go again. I've heard such great things about this book. I'm pretty sure it's a young adult fantasy and the covers are just so cute. And I know there's a couple books in this series, so really interested in reading that one. I also want to read The Only One Left, which is like a thriller book, I think. I've heard, is this one by Riley Sager? I believe this is the one by Riley Sager and my sister read this book and she like raved about it. I definitely want to get into that this season. I don't know, I've just heard it's very spooky and unsettling and I love those kind of books for the most part. For the most part. Some of them are just like unsettling and they're not even fun. So those are the ones where I'm like, what am I saying right now? The only one left, I just feel like it's going to be like that perfect spooky fall vibe book that we're looking for. Now this princess video is going to be the fall book recommendations that I'm going to give to you guys. These are books that I've actually read. I know what they're about and that just I feel like fit the fall vibe. This isn't all my fall recommendations. This is just like my top few that I just think are perfect for this season. So the first book I would recommend is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. If you have a Kindle, just know that all of her books are free on Kindle Unlimited. So... This is a psychological thriller about a girl named Millie and she's desperate to get a job. She needs a job so she takes a job as a housemaid for I think their name is the Winchester family I want to say. This family is very rich. It's a husband, wife, and daughter. Millie quickly like realizes that something's a little bit off. Like her new boss, like the wife, is like a nut job to say the least. The wife is like acts erratically and Millie starts to uncover like some really dark secrets about this family particularly about the wife it's just super weird and unsettling and you're like what is going on with this bitch basically she starts uncovering all these secrets and now like her survival is at stake and it's just like so freaking crazy like, the plot twist at the end never saw it coming never saw it coming the next book i would recommend is the night she disappeared this is a thriller about a couple they're a young couple they're like they're probably like 18 or 19 i want to say they go to this house party one night and then they both disappear. And then like a year or so later, this new person moves into the neighborhood. She's like an author, like a mystery writer person. She writes mystery books is what I'm trying to say. She's like walking around and she finds a sign that says dig here in the woods near the house where that couple went missing. And then she starts to investigate because you know, she's a mystery writer. She's intrigued. She knows about this disappearance. So she's intrigued. She starts to try to uncover like what really happened that night. It's pretty crazy. 
pretty crazy if I do say that myself. The next book I want to recommend is Then She Was Gone. This book I read a while ago, like before I really got into my reading journey. I was so shook by this book, y'all. This book is a psychological thriller and it's about this mom whose daughter went missing 10 years ago. It's been 10 years. She meets this guy named Floyd and they start hitting it off. They start like going out a little bit. Her, her daughter's name is Ellie, I want to say, and she ends up meeting Floyd's daughter named Poppy and it is like a spitting image of her daughter. So then obviously the mom starts trying to like dig into this guy's life and figure out like what's going on and covering some dark truths and all that stuff. Obviously this person is like not her daughter but she has some resemblance for sure uh, to her daughter. So it's just, it's, it's weird, it's unsettling. I was literally sitting there like, hey baby don't die yet. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's about to die. At least we're at the end of this video anyway. We only have a few more book recommendations. Yeah, that book's- okay. We're just gonna go without it, I guess. That book is super unsettling, super uncomfortable, but it's still really good. Definitely would recommend it still. Another book I would recommend is The Seven Year Slip. If you've been on my channel while well, you know me, I'm always raving about this book. This is a magical realism romance book. I don't know why, but this book just gives me the fall vibe. Basically, we have a main girl, Clementine, and her aunt gives her- the aunt gives- why do I always have trouble with this part? The aunt gives Clementine her apartment. So Clementine now has this new apartment. But the aunt forgot to mention that there's like a speck of magic going on around there. And basically whenever she walks in the door, she never knows if she's walking seven years in the past or in present time. She walks in the apartment one day and there's just a man in her kitchen cooking. And she's like, hey, like, what the fuck are you doing here? Who are you? Turns out it's seven years in the past and she's like, this is my apartment. Like, what are you doing here? Basically, long story short sort long story short she ends up falling for this guy it's a struggle because when she leaves her apartment she's back in present time but then when she walks back into her apartment she never knows like is it going to be seven years in the past or present time it's like this whole weird thing but it was so good so close to my heart i just amazing book love her love it Another book I want to recommend is None of This Is True. This is a thriller book and it's basically about a girl named Alex and she has this very popular podcast and this girl Judy I think is her name. Is it Judy? Josie. It's Josie. So Josie is like becomes obsessed with Alex and they live in the same town and she kind of convinces Alex to let her be on the podcast and she ends up like telling like her life story and it's super dark and weird and random and you're like what is not random it's just super dark and creepy and you're like uh what? As Josie is like sharing her life story Alex is like what is going on like what? And then this kind of leads Alex to question Joey's intentions and like what is the truth what's not the truth all this kind of stuff it's it's crazy it's crazy. Now the book I'd recommend this book is so good law law i was trying to say y'all another book i would recommend is never lie by frida mcfadden this book was crazy frida mcfadden knows how to get me she knows how to get me because did i ever see this coming no we have a couple who is looking at this house it's just them like the realtor isn't even there they're house hunting and they visit this like remote house they used to belong to this psychiatrist that went missing years ago and no one knows what happened to her and then this couple gets like stormed in i don't know if it was like a thunderstorm or like a snowstorm but they end up getting like stuck in this house they find a room with this psychiatrist tapes of with all her they're not customers clients that's what i'm trying to say basically a bunch of tapes of her conversations with clients and all that kind of stuff and they start listening to them they find out some pretty crazy stuff about the psychiatrist's life and like what possibly happened to her i don't know i don't want to give too much away but y'all this this book was crazy i think i have my reaction to reading this book in one of my videos i think it's this video ends when i find a five star reading i was like huh like i was sitting there like series that I would recommend to read during the fall time is the natural series. Like I just said, I'm in the second book, but the first one was so good and the second one is really good so far, so I'm really enjoying it. Basically, the series follows a group of five people who were recruited by the FBI because they all have these powers. Like, they're not kids because I think they're like 19, 20-ish, maybe 18. They're basically recruited by the FBI because they all like have like these gifts and powers and the FBI uses these gifts and powers to help solve cold cases and like homicides and that kind of stuff. So that alone, piqued my interest you know like powers helping the fbi with cold case murders that kind of stuff had my attention for sure and the last book i want to recommend is the fourth wing series i don't know why i called it the fourth wing series can't even go into detail about what it's about because there's so much that goes on to it but i said this like in my last video i think or like two videos ago all you need to know badass female lead character hot guys dragons war high stakes 
crazy shit. That's the best way to explain it. There's just so much goes on. I feel like I couldn't even explain in detail, like good detail, like what it's about. That is it for my fall book recommendations and my fall TBR. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I know this video was kind of all over the place and I do apologize for that. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read any of these books down below and what you think of them, all the good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.